Series. We're doing writing with Miss Acton again today. We're going to be working with the words haven't and don't. What is our central question? You're going to be asking yourself, how can I use contractions in my writing? And I explained a little bit yesterday. Contractions kind of just make your writing sound more like you're talking. And we're going to see some examples of what I'm talking about. So what are your objectives today? In this lesson, you will learn about the contractions haven't and don't. So we're only learning about two today, just like we did yesterday. And in this lesson, you will rewrite sentences to include the contractions haven't and don't. And you're going to type those um, using your keyboard. And Ms. Acton is going to show you where that apostrophe key is again today. Nope, going to the jam board now. All right, so contractions with not. That's what we've been kind of focusing on this week. So contractions that have the word not in them means it's the last word. So are not would be one of them. I am is not one. That is is not one. And that's because not's not in there. Will not is one. We did that yesterday. Cannot is one. We did that one yesterday. Did not is want. Do not is one. And isn't for is not. All of those are ones that have the word not at the end of them. So they're contractions with the word not. And normally with most of these, we take away the O and replace it with an apostrophe. But we learned there are some that it's not that easy. So when we're working with a contraction and changing it in a sentence, this is normally what happens. We go from saying, Jacob has not seen my new bike, to saying, Jacob hasn't seen my new bike hasn't seen my new bike. So you just see how they change. And basically what it sounds like is it's more like you're talking. So when you're writing any writing piece and you're you're talking to somebody through your writing piece, you're saying, I have not seen the pizza today. Sounds so proper. And it isn't really how we talk. But if you walk up to mom, your best friend, your sister, you say, I haven't seen the pizza today. You say, I haven't seen the pizza today. Not I have not seen the pizza today. So it just shows you how it sounds more like you're talking when you're changing those contractions. So this is how we make a contraction. So you take the two words, whether it's was not, did not, that is, it is, should not, whatever it is, and you scrunch them together first because you're making one whole big word. So the first thing you do is make it one word. Then you normally take out the O, depending on which one it is. For was not, we take out the O, we drop all of the letters down. We leave a little bit of a space where the O was because that space is going to be replaced with an apostrophe. And that creates the word was not to creating wasn't. I'm going to show you some examples. So are not, have not, did not, is not, do not. First step that we do is we squish them together because we're trying to make one word. The next thing that we do is we take away... Pardon? We take away the O's. We don't need those O's anymore in there. And then the next thing we do is we drop those O's, but we leave a space because that space we're going to fill with an apostrophe. So we add little apostrophes for that, and that takes the word are not to aren't, have not to haven't, did not to didn't, is not to isn't, and do not to don't. Okay, here's a list of examples. Does not was not, has not, and should not. First thing we do is we squish them together because we're trying to make one word. The next thing that we do is we take that O out. So the O gets slashed through. We don't want that O anymore. Then the next step is we drop the O, but we leave a little bit of a space because we're going to add an apostrophe in that spot. So does not goes to doesn't, could not goes to couldn't, was not goes to wasn't, has not goes to hasn't, and should not goes to shouldn't. All right. So the words that we're going to be working on today and that you're going to be typing sentences for, adding apostrophes, answering questions, are the words have not turning into haven't. It's Duke Green. So have not turns into haven't. So let's see what we do. So we've got a H-A-V-E, H-A-V-E. Okay, so we keep that. Then we definitely squish them together, just like Ms. Sack showed you. So we get rid of that space. We keep the N. You see how the N stays the same? Oh, and we drop the O. And we replace it with an apostrophe and we keep the T. So when we take the word have not and turn it to haven't, keep have, we squish not real close to it. Then we take away the O 
and we replace it with an apostrophe. And that's how we get the word haven't. All right, let's go a little bit faster with the next word since you guys get the gist. Do not to don't. This one's super easy. You just take the do and not and you squish them together. We take away the O and we replace the O with an apostrophe and it changes it from do not to don't. All right, so here they are in sentences. You will be in trouble if you do not brush your teeth. So maybe if your dentist is talking to you, you know, somebody who's a professional that, you know, is at their job, they would say, you will be in trouble if you do not brush your teeth. But if it's your mom or your sister talking to you, you will be in trouble if you don't brush your teeth is what they'll say. So we take away the do not. We drop D-O down in. We could put the O, but instead we're going to replace it with the apostrophe and add a T. Changes our sentence from you will be in trouble if you do not brush your teeth to you will be in trouble if you don't brush your teeth. Our next sentence. It is bad that I have not watered my plant in a week. Is it bad that I have not watered my plant in a week? Or is it bad that I haven't watered my plant in a week? So, haven't. Keep the H-A-V-E-N. Squishing those two letters together. Instead of writing the O, we're going to do an apostrophe and then a T. I'm going to make that black so it shows up a little bit better. Have. Squish the not in close. Don't write the O because it's replaced with an apostrophe and then a T. Haven't. Is it bad that I haven't watered my plant in a week? That's how you would talk to somebody that's around you. It's how you normally talk to people. There are some places where some people talk like that, like your dentist telling you this stuff. But most of the time when you're talking to someone that you know really close, we're not talking like that. So that's why those contractions are important. All right, so this page I was just showing you, most apostrophes, you're going to draw a circle, like a period, and then you're going to add a tail to go along with it. You can also do the lazy way and just add in tail. That's perfectly fine. Okay, too. Also, before you get started, you're going to need to know where your apostrophe key is. And Ms. Acton will have a reminder slide in your Nearpod for this. You're going to find the enter button. Look right next to it, and it should be right there. It has a key that's got two apostrophes together. That's called a quotation mark. We're not using those. All we're using is an apostrophe. And the good news is you don't have to push the shift button or any other button. You just tap on that button right next to the enter key, and that apostrophe will show up for you wherever you need it in the Word. All right, so have fun, get started on your new pod, and I will see you in just a minute to help you check your work. Bye.